Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. Today's block is called Baby Boom and it finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram. There's lots of triangles in here. And here are four blocks set block to block. For the patches, they're both quarter square triangles, different sizes. Patch A is a three inch finished quarter square triangle. We cut four and a quarter inch squares, cut them in half twice diagonally for four patches. We'll need 20 patches of the background, 14 patches of the medium, and 14 patches of the dark fabric. Patch B is a six inch finished quarter square triangle. We cut seven and a quarter inches, cut them in half on the diagonal twice, and we'll need four patches of the light fabric. There are AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut both these patches. With this block, we're going to go through and cut all of the patches. So we'll have all patches like this, just triangles, quarter square triangle patches. We'll have four of the big ones, and the rest are the smaller ones. And I have cut these larger so I can trim them down later because it gives me a more accurate finished product. If you look at these units, we're going to be making half square triangles, but we're making them different. We're, we're cutting quarter square triangle patches to make the half square triangle. So why are we doing that? Why don't we just do four at a time or eight at a time or whatever half square triangles? If you look, the it's a half square triangle, but it's set on point. And all of these are set on point. And if you look at this long, the diagonal line on the half square triangle, it is going in the horizontal or vertical uh, direction on the block. When we cut our quarter square triangles, we're, we're cutting them like this. This is the lengthwise or crosswise grain, and this is the lengthwise or crosswise grain, and this is the bias grain. The lengthwise grain, you can hear that popping. It's very stable. So what they want in this block is for this lengthwise grain to go horizontally and vertically in the quilt because you're putting these half square triangles on point. If you were just putting it like this, then you'll make your half square triangles the regular way. Just cut your square and cut it in half once diagonally because then the lengthwise and crosswise grains are along the outside edge. So that's why we're cutting these, all these patches and going to sew them together into half square triangles. So we just take these and sew half square triangles out of our quarter square triangle patches. You stitch and then press the seams open. And step one tells you how many to make. You're going to make 10 of these, of the background and the dark fabric, and 10 of the background and the medium fabric. Now we've sewn all of our 20 half square triangles, and we're going to trim to two and five eighth inches. So I'll put my diagonal line on the seam line. Now I'm looking for the two and five eighth inches here and here. I want to make sure I have enough to trim off, so I'm going to move it a little bit. And here's the two and five eighths, and here's the two and five eighths. So I have plenty to trim here and here, and also here. Now just trim these two sides, flip this around. Now line up your two and five eighths on this side and the bottom, and then make sure you're diagonal is straight, and then trim. Do that to all of your 20 triangles. In step two, we're going to make eight like this and two like this. So we're sewing them together. We'll make eight like this and two like this, and press the seams open. Next, we're going to sew this unit, this diagonal unit, in the block. I'm going to cover this up so you can see what we're talking about. This is what we'll sew next. Diagram is right here, so we're going to lay them out just like the diagram. For these two pieces on the ends, I've sewn them together already. So I sewed two of them together like this. And these go on the ends. And then to these, here and here, and on this side. And then to these. 
these four here are the eight that you made, and these two are the two that you made. Now we're just going to sew these together in this row and press the seams open. I'm going to see if they press open or to the side better. Here is this unit finished. I found it easier to press the middle seam open and to press these other seams outward. And then I put some starch on it. There's little nubs here and here on both sides. I'm going to cut those off. Next we look at step four. and We're going to make two units like this. I have these ready and then we'll put one like this, like that. We'll start by sewing these two together and then sew these three together and press the seams. Do the same thing for this one. And cut these nibs off even with the half square triangles. Now we're going to take the large triangle piece it like this. This is going to make a big triangle. It's the other side of the unit. So we'll start with this side. We want to line up this edge down here. So flip this over, line this edge up, and this edge. And then stitch quarter inch. Do the same thing on this side. Now we'll just put all of our pieces together. This will be sewn like this. And this will be sewn like this. Now just trim it up to 12 and a half inches and your block is done. Now I found it easier to press to one side and you'll see what I mean when you're piecing the block. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.